Okay, Hadi Borai, it's wonderful to have this little moment, this short moment with you. Uh, I'm The reason what we're doing here is we are uh, trying to provide a little glimpse, a short glimpse into some of the artists that have participated in To Heal the World, that exhibition that we currently have running, and giving uh, people a little glimpse into both the artists, their lives, and their work. And so we thought we'd start with you first. Um, Thank you so much. Now, to heal, to heal the world, as you know, is this, uh, you know better than anyone because you're in it. But for those watching, uh, To Heal the World is an extended, uh, uh, about two months, exhibition online that is really a reflection on mending the brokenness of our global human family. And of course, right at the heart of it is our belief uh, that artists actually in many ways lead the ways because they have the ability in a sense to kind of transcend traditional ways of understanding, to create new pathways of understanding, and especially in how we see the other when the other is different than who we are. So anyway, in that regard, we're thrilled to have you, Hadi. First of all, I want to say congratulations on winning Thank first you. prize. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure, it's my honor uh, to be part of a uh, caravan, uh, a big uh, caravan family uh, that uh, contains a huge number of um, great artists. I'm, I'm glad to be part of them. And about uh, To Heal the World, um, it, it, you know, it, it was amazing <laughs> to know that uh, I had e uh, even be accepted to be part of uh, the exhibition. Uh, and. Uh, uh, knowing that uh, I won the uh, first uh, place uh, was, you know, uh, something great for me. At the end of this, we'll encourage people to go on to the website and see your work still journeying yep. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the page uh, that's the exhibition page. Um, yeah, yep. It's our privilege to have you part of this exhibition, very much so. Thank you so and, much. Uh, I'm a big personal fan of your work, <laughs> very much so. Um, Hadi, I just have a question about, we're living through some really strange, extraordinary, unsettling times. With the pandemic, of course, we've all been affected, but also there's, at the same time, it's kind of unmasked a lot of uh, racial inequality, especially in North America. Uh, there's been a lot of social unrest. There's been a rise in uh, sentiment against uh, people that are different than oneself. Uh, yep. And so it's been an interesting time and a difficult time for many of us. You there in Alexandria, Egypt, you experienced yep. really a lockdown as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you've experienced all of this and what you've gone through in the midst of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, it, it wasn't easy uh, through the, uh, this, uh, this, this period of our life. Uh, you know, uh, it, it wasn't easy uh, through the last six months. Uh, uh, we witnessed uh, a lot of uh, changes uh, as, uh, you know, uh, all the humankind, you know, faced this uh, threats and uh, uh, um, strange, um, you know, uh, experience and feelings uh, they had never saw before. Uh, I mean, this generation uh, or these generations, uh, uh, we faced uh, uh, all, of the, all the time you're hearing uh, and you're following uh, the news that talking about, you know, uh, now there is numbers and there is, um, you have to stay and you have to take care of yourself and you have to take care of your society and all this stuff, you know, uh, it, it, it wasn't easy at the, at the beginning. After that, um, with the lockdown uh, and everything goes very fast, you know, it came from, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the Far East to uh, the, the North uh, America to the Middle East and Europe 
and Australia, everywhere. It's, it was crazy. And day by day, every uh, 24 hour, you, you hear a lot of stuff. And um, uh, at the first, at the beginning, uh, at the beginning of the lockdown, uh, you know, um, it was easier. After that, uh, for myself, uh, I faced uh, a very hard time of, you know, producing my work, of working, of communication, of com communicating uh, with my friends. It, it was at the beginning, uh, I used to talk with my friends a lot and uh, 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 do a lot of uh, sketches. And, uh, you know, uh, after that, I felt very depressed. I felt I'm not capable uh, to uh, do this anymore. I need to, you know, I need to go out from this whole uh, puppet. Um, uh, but thanks, uh, thanks God, things uh, are going better uh, at the last, you know, uh, two or three weeks now in Egypt. And um, the, um, everything is, the, everything is going better. Mm -hmm. Everything is going, yeah, uh, and um, uh, uh, I, at the beginning, I tried to, you know, I, I saw a lot of uh, artists around the world trying to express their feelings about uh, the, um, uh, the pandemic and the uh, threats we are living and the uh, thoughts. And I tried to know, you know, to do something my, uh, for my own. I uh, I started to work on big uh, on this big sizes uh, of, uh, of big size paintings. Uh, but it, after you know, uh, after working on them, I tried to express my feelings about. Uh, how we are connected and so on, but I felt it wasn't. It was very, you know, uh, it was it was too much. It was too much. I think uh, any artist need needs to uh, have a distance from the event itself to try to uh, translate it or to to say what he needs to say. But in the middle of the event, you cannot say. It's an, an accurate uh, answer for it. So uh, the result or these these uh, two paintings, big ones, I didn't like at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I felt mm -hmm. it, it it was um, you know it, it was the first layer of the of, of my thoughts about the idea uh, of the mask and uh, the the whole uh, uh, issue. But uh, it. it Things are deeper and deeper. What's, what's happening is deeper than um, than the, 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 the what we see. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So, um, in that sense, I think that reminds me of so much of your work. Seems to have. It's about that deeper dimension. Uh, of our existence, uh, I would say even spiritual. I mean, I just think of the titles of your exhibitions, Beyond Borders, Hope is a Traveler, Towards the Unknown, Heaven's Backyard. Now you're working on a kind of a, a series of work uh, about still journeying. Yep. Uh, tell me a little bit about how that all comes about uh, because almost all of your work has that deeper dimension uh, to it, a spirituality to it. Uh, you know, I believe uh, um, uh, every artist have a mission. Uh, his mission is to, you know, uh, express his feelings and to reflect and to be a mirror for his society and his generation and his own inner uh, thoughts so um, and his his soul uh, uh, I think it's uh, my mission I think I believe that uh, my mission is to make this call uh, for that that being calling me <laughs> I need to say it for uh, out loud to everyone that uh, all what we need now is 
to go in this direction, to leave this, you know, very materialistic lifestyle that full of, you know, I need this and I need that, to go to the other direction of, um, that we search about, you know, uh, a deeper meaning, a deeper meaning for our uh, existence itself. Mm -hmm. That you can find uh, in uh, in this minimal uh, direction. If you let go everything, you will find yourself more clear and more calm and more happy. If you uh, Every time I leave the city, I'm living in a, in a big city, you know, uh, in, in, in Egypt, Alexandria has uh, over than 6 million uh, population living there. It's a big city, crowded, very crowded. If you, if you go out of the city, if, every time I took my car and go to uh, any highways and to go to uh, on, on a trip, like anyone, you can find yourself, you can find your your, you know, your balance with the nature. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, um, it's our nature. It's our human nature. Uh, I think uh, to uh, to search about our our roots and our history too. To get to go to uh, the cold contains this, uh, you know, um, um, to search about our um, grandfathers and how they lived mm -hmm. and how they uh, faced uh, um, uh, challenges and faced uh, tough times and how they get through it and survived. That is our guidance, that mm -hmm. is our guidance. How they get back to their God, how they get back to their, you know, uh, how, how, how God communicated with them by sending messengers and messages and say for them you have to take this direction you will survive that's it mm -hmm. but you know i think at the last uh, uh, decades we are facing this uh, crazy materialistic world full of you know social media uh, feed it and make it uh, more uh, with time you cannot it's it's very confusing. It's very very confusing. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, for myself, and my call is to uh, make it um, make it make our life more, more minimal, more 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 calm and full of spiritual. Mm -hmm. To search about uh, our grandfathers, to search in history, to search to, to search for uh, for them how they lived. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. They because you know in your work there there's a how would I say it there's a spiritual calm to your work uh, almost a stillness that causes you to kind of want to see through it that's how I experience it you know <laughs> very much so I was going to ask you one other other question about your art uh, and that is. There's also kind of a, you know, you talk, you just spoke a minute ago about simplicity and simplicity. kind of having the simpler life, you know, as opposed to the material, you know. Yeah. Um, there's a, what I would say, almost a primitiveness in your style, right? Yeah. Where does yeah. that come from? How did that come about? How did that evolve for you? I think uh, the start was uh, uh, the start was uh, from um, the I'm sorry uh, I'm so sorry that's all right uh, uh, I think the start was uh, the beginning was from my childhood yeah, I used to uh, live in a big house or my father's house. Uh, in my, my, my family house, it's a big house with this um, big garden, uh, full of, you know, full of energy, full of nature. That is, I think, was a start, was, my, was myself. That, uh, that made me uh, 
feel and see uh, how much we have to connect with, uh, with nature, with the primitive side of ourselves. Well, with time, um, um, I made my search and I found out that uh, history full of, you know, um, um, full of these uh, interaction, interactions between, between us, it, we are just a creature from millions of creatures that living, live on Earth. We are not uh, the masters of, of, of Earth. We are just one creature, but God made us uh, qualified and capable to uh, use this planet. A lot of us, you know, we have now we are billions, uh, seven billions, I think, many, many billions of people. If you ask them about how they thought about uh, our planet or planet, our planet Earth, they will say that yeah, it's it's ours. It's not yours. You're just uh, you, you have to be. You know, um, you know, you have to be kind with with with, with this, you know, uh, with this, uh, you know. Um, I didn't know. I, I cannot express the idea in, in yeah, English. I understand it's, it's what you're bit, saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit uh, hard. Uh, it's 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 more a philosophic uh, idea in my in my mind. Mm -hmm. And it's it's uh, it's more. Uh, I I think I can tell tell more about it in Arabic. Mm -hmm. But um, that's it. That's the the, the idea. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to say that uh, in, in our journey as a human beings, uh, we faced uh, and we interacted with uh, with a lot of uh, with, with the nature and with uh, the, um, and, and we used to be. Uh, very, um, you know, very kind with it, mm -hmm. comparing with the current moment of ourselves. Yeah, we were more in harmony with it, weren't we? Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah, 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 we used to. But now uh, we are, you know, you, you are go we are going to, um, yeah, to use it, we are using it. Right. And the next generations will, I, I, I think, and I'm sure they will suffer more than us. Mm. I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, they will face uh, they will face more uh, challenges, mm. uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, God helps help them. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So now that we've been through our and hopefully are coming out of this uh, fairly difficult period that we've all been going through for different reasons. Yeah. How does this affect uh, what your art for the future? What are you working on now? Uh, and I'd like just to hear a little bit about uh, just some of your current, you know, artistic output. <laughs> uh, for now, I just need to, uh, you know, uh, express myself and to just to you know uh, say whatever comes to my mind uh, uh, in I'm just you know in any canvas I I have in my uh, my studio in the current moment I just need I just need to uh, express more uh, more of you know uh, the contrast between uh, I feel that there is a conflict and uh, there is a, a big contrast between uh, the past and the current moment. I just need to say this in 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 mm -hmm. in, in, in my with my colors. I just need to make this you know 
uh, harsh uh, moment that we live, I need to express it. Mm. So uh, I didn't know if it will. Uh, I'm, I'm using. I'm just. I used to make this calm and uh, blue, uh, calm skies with uh, for the journey. I just for you know the last two or three weeks. I just replaced them with very strike colors. I just feel that I need to say something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And however, it, it says I will keep it in my studio and will enjoy it for myself. You know, I have no plans to exhibit it uh, on anywhere. I just need to, uh, to to say something. I just need to uh, to say something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope we can all benefit from it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> hope, hopefully, hopefully. But of course, with the same, with the same direction, and with the same idea about about this call for spirituality. Yes. With the same direction. Yeah. The call yeah. for spirituality. I think the the journey I'm 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 telling mm -hmm. is our journey, and I'm a part. I am a part of that. Mm -hmm. So I will. You know, constantly, uh, uh, you know, be keen to say more and more from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I love that. Where you're calling us to the journey, and we're all on a journey, you know, and yeah. you're actually, I find your work takes me on a deeper journey. So, for that, I want to say thank you, Hadi. Thank you so much. It's those of us who see your artwork are the beneficiaries of really the depth that you're putting onto that canvas. And uh, so we're very grateful. So I think that's a good end right now for this uh, interview. I will uh, encourage everyone to go onto the Caravan website and under the To Heal the World and look uh, at Hadi's work there. And also he is uh, carried, his artwork is carried by Art Talks, that's the gallery in Cairo uh, that shows his work. And uh, we will highlight that as well when we post this. Thank you again, Hadi. I really appreciate you for spending some time with us and yeah. uh, sharing your heart and worldview and perspective, actually. In many yeah, yeah. So. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank uh, for all the whole caravan team. Uh, always, you know, looking for, uh, you know, your um, great mission and uh, looking for our uh, upcoming, uh, upcoming um, corporations, inshallah. Likewise, inshallah. Thank you so yeah. much. I really appreciate it, Hadi. Yeah. All the best Bye -bye. to you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.